A big confusion that many real estate agents get into, especially when they're just starting their career or someone who is already been in real estate for a while but haven't had that much success. So if you're in these shoes, then if you're thinking to join a team but you're not sure if it's beneficial for you or not, then you're at the right spot. In this video, I'm gonna give my honest opinion whether you should join a team or go solo. Namaskar, Aditya Soma here. Welcome back to my channel. If you've been watching my videos and love my content, hit that thumbs up button and let me know where you're watching this video from and if it's helpful for you or not. So as I said, this is a really a big question mark that I was hearing from a lot of new agents, new real estate agents who are just getting in or just in the process of getting. Should I join a real estate team? Yes. No, no, not as for you to join, <laughs> but yes, I'm going to answer really a detailly. Watch till the end. I promise you will walk away with a clear distinction if it's for you to join a team or not, because joining a team comes with a negative side as well, because you got to be clearly aware of if you're joining a team. So let's start with the positives. What are the advantages if you join a team? The number one advantage, you have less investment to make. So let me explain you what it means. You don't have to invest too much money. So any real estate agent who is starting out, they have to start spending money in order to get the leads like doing billboards, um, doing mailing campaigns or doing Google ads, all sort of things. A lot of people do that so they spend money up front expecting leads to come in and then convert those leads to make money but when you're joining a team you don't have to invest that money because the reason you're joining a team the team of course choose the right team that's very important but if you're joining the team the team generally does all those marketing they invest that money to generate leads to generate you know um, all sort of um, marketing budget so that's coming from the team it's not from your pocket that means your cost of uh, expenses goes drastically down so that leads to the second positive which is for you it's low risk because you have low you know investment that means your only risk is your time and the positive number three is you have a team environment why it's a positive thing so if you're a person like you know uh, you love to be in a team environment you want to have that you know solid a family um, kind of feeling where you can have a support from other people um, you know you always constantly need a support from other people to guide you through the process if you have any challenges um, you know if you're not good at coming back again and learning but you can piggyback on someone hey i'm going issues i'm getting some issues here can i can you help me can you help me here help me there if you're that personality then team is the perfect one because you will have that uh, a family environment who can support um, support you to to grow and number four really important you're going to learn from the best because you have a team you have a team lead and you have other team members so you're gathering every week every month you're gonna party all those things so you're learning you're constantly learning from the best that's really important because in this business if you want to grow you got to keep learning and number five that not many people actually think about it but when you join a team you're leveraging other people's credibility what does that mean so for example I have a team now if someone talking to me or my team so now any lead that is going to my team now they know that they are Aditya's team so all of a sudden when they are working with the team even though the agent is new still they don't really 
you know, question that agent because they're working with the Aditya technically. So that's the team creates and, and you know, you, pretty much it's like, you know, you, when, why do you choose Nike or Reebok or any uh, specific uh, branded uh, products? Because you know that that particular brand is good for good quality products. So same thing with the teams. So any team that is successful or in the process of you know making a solid impact in the community, then they are the one I have already established good uh, brand, and you can leverage that brand. So then you know now you have that leverage because especially when you're like starting out, that helps you a lot because the first few years people really question you who you are why should i work with you why uh, i um you know you can sell my property for the top dollar so so many questions sometimes you might not be able to answer but when you're leveraging uh, a team's brand so you can um your team is speaking to them indirectly so there are so many questions already answered before they even got to you so that's very important and these are the pros that I uh, think why um, should someone join but trust me here's the big con especially if you're a go-getter like me for example when I started I know from the beginning I'm like uh, I don't care if I have a support or not I'm gonna find the support I'm gonna read books I'm gonna learn all these things and I'm gonna implement I know I'm gonna implement and I know I can create um, no matter what kind of challenges I come across, I'll find ways. So that's my personality. I'm like a go-getter. If you're like that, team is not for you at all. Go figure out, do all the mistakes, learn from the best, read the books and keep doing and go do yourself. Because the biggest thing is being in a team, of course, you're paying a cut to the team. So you might be getting making more transactions and, and you will be uh, paying some cut to the team. But that's why you have some uh, less reward because, you know, to put it in a simple words, you have lower risk, but lower reward as well. If you want to really make a lot of money and if you don't want to have that ceiling of, you know, making um, X amount, then you got to go single. So that's a con number one, where, which is less reward. And the con number two, a lot of teams will have a systems and procedures in place. So you gotta follow their, you know, if you're in my team, you gotta follow certain things. That's really important for me to protect my brand because you know, um, overall, we care about our client and we wanna make sure this client receives similar kind of service again and again. So in order to do that, we need to have those systems and procedures. So for that, why it's con for you, if you are a go-getter, if you're like, you know, I do it my way, now you have some control. You gotta, you know, um, you should follow certain things. That means you have some, someone to tell you what to do. So if the team, if you're in team, for example, you gotta do uh, open house on this day. So you have someone told you to do it. Um, if you're like really hate following others, proceed, uh, others, you know, instructions, then team is not for you because you gotta follow certain things um, so that's my big takeaway um, in summary here's what I tell you if you're a young guy if you're already like you know very energetic and you're solidly motivated and you know you can motivate yourself on a regular basis without any support then don't join a team because you will make much more income and much you will be like getting much more reward being yourself and you can go build your own team so that's my take but if you're a person like for example you know you always are a cautious person you want to make sure you're taking right steps you want to make sure you need someone's guidance along the way um, you want to follow certain procedures you you want to make sure you know um, you have at least a, a stable income because when you're with the team the team is giving you the leads and training uh, on a regular basis so and they're telling you how to even bring more leads from your own circle all those trainings so you have always someone to piggyback on there will be always someone to tell you how to make more money and there will be someone always you know analyzing your portfolio 
So if you're that person, if you want that additional support, um, you really uh, follow someone's you know instructions, then team is absolutely for you. Again, you know, if your personality changes after a year two or three, now you want to go solo, of course, you can always do it because teams doesn't bind you forever. Probably they'll bind for a year or something like that. So you can always go back and do solo. Um, but um, if you're a go-getter, don't even join. Don't even bother wasting your time because you can definitely succeed. You have all the resources in this world with this technology. You have ton of resources to be successful um, by yourself as well. So that's my honest opinion, guys. Um, if you already in the team, let me know if this points make sense to you or if you're one of them thinking of this process or if you already all have a team and tell me if I'm right or wrong. I wanna, I'm curious to hear your thoughts and if you like the content, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and thank you so much and looking forward to watch you out in the next videos and don't forget to check out other videos on regarding how to be successful as a real estate agent and have a wonderful day.